Hey, hi, welcome to the series of automotive cybersecurity sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your automotive consultant. This is lesson one in automotive cybersecurity. What is cybersecurity? Condition in which asserts are sufficiently protected against threat scenarios to E and D components of road vehicles and their functions from ISO 2144 standard. This is the standard definition. And in, in, some, in simple words, protecting the assert from hacking attacks. That means your car's electronic and electrical components and their associated code need to be protected from hacking attacks. Every electrical and electronic component is prone to be attacked. That means it has its own security vulnerabilities. Not only car components, servers, interface networks like CAN are vulnerable. Our computers like laptops and desktops and phones, even if it is iPhone or Android phone, emails, uh, networks like Wi-Fi, cable networks, bank accounts or bank servers, etc everything has its own vulnerability which we may or may not know it since we are in connected world we when we study about automotive cybersecurity, we should not only consider the automotive system we should also consider its connected systems as well while we are evaluating the cybersecurity. if everything is vulnerable how can we protect our asset? So our aim is to make our asset more secure so the attacker target would be less on our asset. The more secure we are, the less attack prone we are. So attackers always target on less secure assets. Say if you if there are two cars parked, one is locked and the other is not locked or keys are left inside the car so if you have a plan of stealing one so which one do you choose the one without lock right when we are working with our computers with os like linux ubuntu ios whatever it is we think they are more secure when compared to windows os no it is not this linux or you know the mac are the reason because it is less popular let us imagine we picked 10 random laptops and we checked that the, what os is installed in those particular machines so 9 out of 10 are installed with windows os and one is with mac and zero with linux it's like it's, it's kind of miscellaneous at 0.12 or something like that so since most of the computers in the above sample is windows os as a attacker i feel more excited that hacking windows os is uh, much more profitable for me because I could be able to hack another similar eight like which is which has the Windows OS in it. It would be a cakewalk for me like to crack other eight. So in automotive world, we can hear a lot of cybersecurity incidents which are reported with Tesla cars. Hackers targeted Tesla because it is more popular. It doesn't mean that the other car brands are more secure. They are less targeted because they are less popular when compared to Tesla. So cyber criminals or hackers or attackers may not be required to have the highly technical, high technical skills. That means like, you know, cyber hacking could be able to possible means like we could be able to do it without writing a single line of code also do you know that 
so they are simply the humans like you and me the hackers and who read and follow the instructions in a predefined pattern so how to hack a system so somebody would be like you know hacked it and he, he know the vulnerabilities in the in the particular system and he will write uh means like you know we there is a general guidelines for the hackers like how to hack a machine or uh or an ic or or uh, or a car something like that they know how most humans commit mistakes which lead to system which lead to the system vulnerable the system may be like you know an automotive system or even a laptop or you know phone or whatever it is the system okay it is not tough to get into the game is like you know uh, that means the hacking game uh, we can compare the cyber security with puzzle games uh, where two players are playing together and, or a chess board where we have to guess the moves of the next next player that means like you know here we need to guess out the uh, black hat hacker or the malicious hackers next move we need to guess it out and or or you know we need to guess it out and we need to protect the asset accordingly so maybe we we may think we we does not want to get into the game but we are already in the game because since we are using internet and our data is in our mails or uh, it is available in internet it is available in social media so we are already in the game of cyber security so here is a statistics of automotive cyber security statistics the frequency of cyber attacks on cars increased by 225% 225% from 2018 to 2021 nearly 85% of attacks in 2021 were carried out remotely outnumbering physical physical attacks are 4 to 1 that means one in four attacks are physical attack is physical attack and rest three are remote attacks 40% of attacks targeted back end servers as a hacker if i target the back end server then i could be able to access the uh, system which is connected to that particular back end server to all the all the systems all the cars like you know which is connected to that back end server i can hack so uh, that is the reason like you know always uh, the hacker will concentrate on the back end server hacking so 2021 saw 54.1% of attacks carried out by black hat actors up to up from 49 49.3% in 2020 2020 it was 49.3 and 2021 it was 54.1% attacks by black hat hackers or the malicious actors or the con artists why hackers hack your car so to steal the car or to take the valuable belongings which are stored which are kept inside the car or they take control of vehicle like they control your acceleration steering brakes gear everything they may get control of it's like you know they want to take control of your personal information like email access bank account access media like photos videos etc through this they may ask for a money by installing a software called ransomware or take money from your accounts that means from your bank accounts that is called stealing or theft or misuse your personal data in social media or any other platforms these are the recent automotive ransomware attacks happened is like tesla honda honda global operations it got paused by ransomware attack toyota australia confirms attempted cyber attack also nissan and renault also striked by ransomware attack with this i came to the end of the topic like don't forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the icon hit the notification icon to get the alert on the next videos so new videos every week thank you so much for your time we will meet in the next video